up you guys it's Megan and today we are back with the strange town series here on my channel today guys is the day that we are going to move out of this tiny little house and into a bigger and better house first we have to wait for Elude and Kyle to get back from work just so that we can all consult on where we want to live I actually think I know where I want to live but um I'm gonna you know we're, we're all gonna go through it together we're gonna see how much money we have what we can afford I'm thinking somewhere in the desert area I don't know what town it is called but I know in The Sims 2 it was called Strange Town. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So right now, Alune, or not Alune, I'm sorry, Katie is going to be streaming some video games so that she can gain more of a following, hopefully become a successful media star so we can make that sweet, sweet money to make the best build house ever. I don't know. So the house we're gonna be moving into will be a base game house. Um, and then over time I will edit it and make it ours. Maybe I'll do like a first I'll make over like a bedroom or I'll do the living room something But it's gonna be a slow and steady race and Katie has just reached level six of the video game skill She can now wait what she can now enter professional game tournaments, but like will she win those? I don't know I really want her to do well in the video game career or skill because then we can win the ultimate gaming test at the festival <laughs> so we need to make money advertising a minor product and record a rant at the computer while angry see that's hard because my sims are never angry and i don't know how to make them angry if you guys know how to make them angry leave that in a comment down below because that would be really helpful so kyle he needs to play video games he's at work until 6 p.m let's have him work um work hard so we can work on getting a promotion and alone she's at school until three so we are also gonna have her study hard well she's an a student so maybe Instead, we'll have her make some friends um, just because she's doing okay. Oh my gosh, she's sick. No, uh, stuffed up from illness. Oh no, okay, so we're gonna order some medicine for her just in case when she gets home, we'll be able to take that and then we will just take care of her because she's our daughter. Order, oh my god, order so many things. Fireworks, garlic seeds, medicine. I will get a couple of bottles just in case the sickness comes back and I can't give this to Loon while she's at school, obviously. So it looks like we are just gonna have to wait until she gets home. Oh my gosh, Katie kind of like has the day off today. It's not that she really does, but I guess we could try to get her in an angry mood. I guess she's gonna have to go get in an argument with the Sim maybe. Let's go do that. <laughs> Let's go try to be mean to some Sims. We gained 1,200 followers and now we have 17 followers. So, 17,000, sorry. Outfits, change outfits. Let's put on one of our everyday fits. Um, and let's find somebody to be mean to. <laughs> that feels awful because Katie's not a mean person, but if I can get her angry enough, um, then we can record a rant while angry and then that'll be worth the goal. Okay, so who do we have over here? We have Glenn. Oh my gosh, you guys. I think this is perfect. More cho choices mean yell at. We're gonna yell at Glenn and we're gonna get so angry. If you guys are new to the series, Glenn was our ex-boyfriend who cheated on us with this girl named Bridget and we have not forgiven him since. He'll call us, he'll ask us out sometimes, but we just aren't having it. No way, no how. So we are going to yell at him. We're going to tell him to stop calling us. We're going to um, tell, we're going to insult him. Stop eating, Katie. Come on. He's like, he's like sitting here waiting for you to come insult him. Mean um, other Sims break up with. Who should Glenn break up with? Tell him to break up with Bridget. Um, and then more choices. Mean shout forbidden words. So we are trying to get angry right now so we can record an angry rant. We're going to rant about how cheaters are awful and they don't deserve the time of day. Oh my god, why is he happy? No. You left your clothes everywhere and it made me so angry and I hate the way that you dress. Why am I? Why do I feel happy? New friend? How do we make a new friend? Break up with her. More choices mean. Insult. More choices mean. What are you talking about? We're in love. Okay. Um, give the cold shoulder. More choices. Mean. Can I fight him? Shout forbidden words. More choices. Mean. Argue. Argue about career. Tell him he's not going anywhere. Mean. Uh, shout forbidden words. Why aren't I getting angry? How do I get angry? Jeer? Imply mom's a llama? This isn't working. No, don't leave. Oh my god, we pissed him off. And we're like laughing. That's kind of evil. Katie, you were supposed to get angry, and she didn't. Katie might be evil, you guys. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, well, I, that didn't work at all. That was an awkward confrontation. He's pissed off, though. 
We did a really good job. Maybe now he can go home and record an angry rant. <laughs> Bye, Glenn. Have a good day. Who else can we be mean to to maybe... I don't know. They have to be mean to us back. If they're mean to us back, then that doesn't very much do anything. We're happy for making a new friend. Um, and we have a deep connection from socialization. Building a strong relationship with others can cause happiness. Is that what that was, Katie? You were building a strong connection with Glenn the cheater. I am not happy for you. <laughs> oh gosh, that's so awkward. So I cannot wait for the others to be home so that we can start our move to the new house. Um, it's gonna be awesome. And I'm gonna miss this house. I love this house so much. I built this house, guys. I built this house and it's one of my one of my favorites. Uh, goodbye. We're gonna have to pack up some of the stuff that we don't want to lose. Um, I don't know if anything here really holds sentimental value. Like we don't have a birth certificate or anything, so that doesn't really do much. So we can't, let's try to advertise a product while we wait for everybody to get home. Social networking, um, advertise a minor product. Somebody please buy this. Please buy whatever I'm about to advertise because I don't want to lose money on the deal. And I don't want to lose followers, but that's usually what happens. So Aloon is home. She needs to start on her homework because I want to get that done before we start the move and all that jazz before we move to the new neighborhood. And Aloon's going to have a fresh start working hard with um, some of her new classmates. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love her. And hopefully Glenn gets some sort of promotion today. He's been working hard. Oh my gosh, it looks like he will. That's good. So he's only level one. What is this? Welcome to Babysitting 101. Kyle will be using his above average intelligence for hours of gentle guidance and vital hand holding, exploring brave new limits, just how timely one can, exploring new limits on how timely one, okay. So we're gonna be quality assurance next whenever Kyle gets home from work, which should be really soon. Did Katie record this product advertisement? Um, social networking, advertise a minor product, Katie. You're in a pretty good mood. Oh, Katie has sold out for a product of 500 simoleons. This is just, just this once you tell yourself. Uh, and then you see you lost 143 followers. Well, that's okay, because we'll just make them up. We'll just social network. We will um, update social media status. Update your social media status, Katie. I can't click on the computer anymore. Hello. Social networking, share jokes, share image, and... um. Share jokes. I think I already did that. So we gained 25 total followers. That's not enough to cover the blow of what we did lose, unfortunately. But uh, Alun is done with her homework. It's complete. She has class in 16 hours. Maybe I think we'll have her go do some um, emotional control. How do I do this? Um, Sims who redirect negative emotions can build several. So I guess playing the violin will help out emotional control. So we're gonna look for a little instrument for a loon to play. Um, I think maybe that's gonna be underneath the hobbies. Is this for kids? That's a big girl violin. There's no way that the adult violin is more expensive or le least expensive than the baby violin. Oh my God, $15,000 violin. No way. The prodigy child violin. Beautiful. So we're going to work on this. What is this? Don't wake the llama. Oh, a private journal. A private journal just for a loon. This will be perfect. She can write some of her emotions in here, right? Write in journal. Good. And that should help. Her manners are almost up there. Her responsibility is up there, but her emotional control needs the most help. So Katie is eating. She needs to use the restroom in a second. And we're going to have Kyle come home from work any second now. I thought he was going to be off at five. Oh, at six. Okay, so I was wrong, but it's okay because still, we still have time. Oh my gosh, we're embarrassed. Why are we embarrassed to see Luna in the bathtub? We're, we're supposed to know her pretty well. She's our daughter. Like, it's fine. Oh my gosh. So emotional, everybody. Let's write in journal. Go ahead. Can't find a chair or a surface. Okay, so let's click write in journal here. She still can't find anywhere to sit to write. Okay, we're going to put this in her pocket and she'll take this with her um, to her next um, house. So promoted to quality assurance. Kyle's been promoted to quality assurance. He will now make an additional seven simoleons per hour for a grand total of 38 simoleons per hour. He has also received the following bonus, 375 uh, simoleons, stainless steel auto pot. His next shift is at 10 a.m. So Kyle, now that you are, you know, living it up, 10, 10 a.m. Uh, wake up date, we're going to have you take a shower and let's prepare the house for things we need to do to move. 
We're still working from home with Katie. She's in a pretty good mood. So let's grab some of these things that I know we're going to want. For example, this rug. I love this rug. We're going to put that in our inventory. Um, I don't know what type of stove the other place is going to have, so we're going to keep that. This is not the best fridge. Um, cabinets, we'll keep those here. We'll keep this here. We'll take the space of flowers because I know I'm going to want to decorate the house a lot and I don't want to buy all the decorations again because um, I could cook pack furniture, but I kind of want mostly new furniture. But I like this lamp. We'll take their bed like this. I'm not taking everything, guys. And I know you guys, a lot of people get confused like when you click sell everything in the house, like you actually get to sell everything. You don't actually have to rebuy any of the stuff. So, um, okay, so the way it works is when I click sell furniture, all this sells. The reason I'm keeping some stuff is because the sell value is not as great as if I had to buy it again. You don't get an even trade. Like for example, this sells for $72. But if I wanna buy one of them, you buy it for $90. So the sell value is much less than like what I would get. So we're packing things up so we don't have to repurchase a lot of things that I know I'm gonna want again, like this computer. And also our desk and stuff. This cactus maybe, this butterfly painting. Um, maybe this painting. We got that at a yard sale, if you guys recall. Um, we have a bird bath out there, a trash can. Uh, I think that this is all that we really need. Um, so I think it's time for us to go on the move. I'm excited, so we have $24,000. I don't think we can make much more, so let's let's just go for it. We'll have Katie respond to her mail first, because I think that's important. And then Kyle can be the one to move the household. Okie dokie, let's see where we're gonna move next. Oasis Springs. Oh, we can afford this house. Oh, we can almost afford this one, but I think we're gonna have to go with this one, because I don't wanna live in any of these little trailer houses, these starter homes, no thank you. We can't, I don't want to buy the big lot to build on. Um, so I think that this house right here is going to be perfect. Furnished, we're going to sell our furniture. So that gives $8,000 to do whatever we want with. And now let's see what the inside of this house looks like. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. We are going to do some makeovers with it because I don't want to keep it just like this forever. But I do love that we got into the green part of the city or the neighborhood, that's what I wanted mostly. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's like a little mid-century modern. This is the type of house I would love to live in in real life, honestly. So let's pause, because we're gonna be doing some major remodeling. I'm gonna talk with it through with you guys. I hope you guys don't mind. I usually speed build this stuff, but I think I'm gonna just try to do it this way. But I think I'm gonna have to change a lot of this furniture up. What's what's up with the color of this? Is this, why does it look, is, it the, is the light pink? Or is this broken? We're gonna make that white. Cause I think the light on it is just red for some reason. Um, I don't want this closet. I don't want this rug. We're gonna replace it with this rug that we have already. Just grab it. And that'll be nice. We can put the cactus in here too. Now let's see what type of stove this place has. Right, it's not the stove that I wanted. So we're gonna put our stove in here. Let's replace the color, make it white. We have this entryway table, which is nowhere to be found. So we're gonna put that here, I think. That'd be nice, and then we could put the decorations on top of it just to make it a little bit more ours, like so. Now, I don't like this. I don't like anything that's going on right here. So we're gonna delete this. We're gonna grab ourselves a new rug, like this. I'm gonna delete these. Oh my gosh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Katie, sorry, you're gonna have to move. Um, we'll keep this TV, maybe? I don't know. Um, let's go buy a new little furniture set for the living room. Now, I do like this couch. This is a couch that I noticed that got added. I, I don't know if it's new or not. I mean, I kind of like it. I just don't want to revert back to using the same couch that I always use, the bowling couch, because I use that one a lot. What about this one? This is a nice family couch. Do we have any nice colors? I mean, we could just do the black and white one, probably. That would be really good. Um, and for this, what do we want to use? I don't want to use anything too fancy. Like, that's really fancy. I'm kind of looking for something just not as try hard. Ooh, this. I love this. Like, this is fancy, but, like, it's a different type of fancy. I love this. And then we can paint it white. That's very nice. Um, these I want to change the colors of because I don't like these too much. Like this. Okay, that looks good. Let's go back into our inventory. Let's pull out our flower because we had flowers. Where did... Here. Put those out on the table. Um, we do have this little end table here. That would be perfect right there, I think. We'll put our plate on top of it. 
on top of it. Nice. Um, let's go into this room. This room is going to be Alun's new room. It definitely needs a makeover because it doesn't look anything like I think she would like it to look. So we are going to get into that right now. But it's going to take a bit. Oh my gosh, there's so many... Oh my gosh, piece of art. That's an expensive piece of art right there. Uh, what? I don't want to know. I don't... Uh, huh. This is all kind of confusing. Well, how do we want to do this? How do we want to go about this? Making this area kind of ours. So, oh, we also need a swap for the computer. What are these? Are these just cabinets? What are these? They're cabinets, but for some reason they're right here. Okay, weird. We'll put them over here. And then over here we can have the computer and the desk and stuff like that. This could be the new workspace. Let's put a butterfly picture there. Because I love the butterfly pictures. Um, we need the actual computer. I think I want to change some of this. Like this is just really crowded. I don't know. Was that the right choice? Probably not. Maybe we could take the computer and move it somewhere into Katie's room. Or Katie and Kyle's room now. Just in this corner right here. That might be good. We could still keep the lamp there. Actually, let's delete this lamp. Because I want to put in this lamp. Um... We gotta get Alun's violin in here. We're gonna do a good amount of changes to Alun's room, so don't freak out about it yet. And then she has to, also has to have her frog. The rest of the stuff, I don't know how this got here. I, we got this from having like a silver birthday party. What is this? Christmas volume one. We got some of these um, gaming posters, which I guess Alun can just have in her room. <laughs> we'll sell that one. Um, two VIP buckets of wine. We don't need that. This painting would be really cute in Alun's room. Um, but I want to change, like, I'm still changing a lot. Cute. I don't know if I want these in here, because they are kind of like... Just, like, they're cool, but, like, I don't think I want them. Um, coffee maker, why do we need that? What is this? Like, a little tea thing? That's cool. Can I put this on top of... Here? Is that floating? Or did I do it? I think I did it. Okay, that's good enough. And now for the tricky part of a loon's room. So I already know kind of what I want to do. I think we're going to put white wood in here because we're going to take maybe this carpet. Because I think that there's a pink version of this. Could be wrong. Oh, man. That's the one I want. Oh my gosh. Now I have another rug underneath this one that needs to go. No, don't remove the floor. There we go. So this is already kind of coming along pretty nice. We're going to have to add some end tables for her. Just because she deserves them, you know. But which type? This one's cute. I am going to change her bed, I think. Because I don't... I'm not a big fan of the bed that she has currently. Let's just go ahead and start changing that now. Because um, maybe there was some more beds out. This is a cute bed. This came with City Living. Um, but I think that this is really cute. And I don't think this is the bed we just had. Or anything weird like that. So we'll keep that. I'm going to change the wallpaper too. Okay, so far her room is coming along pretty well. I still want to add in more things. Like, she can get this cute pink dinosaur. Oh, wait. The, this llama. No. Um, I was looking for this. Yes. She can have a big stuffed um, unicorn in her room. Because I feel like that's what she would like to play with. Um, we got a new toy chest. Do kids play with the toys? Or is this just a toddler thing? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Let's move the violin. How much money do we have? We still have $12,000. We have quite a lot of money to kind of figure out what we want to do with all these rooms and everything that's going on in here. Oops, this doesn't fit. Do they go like this? How do they, how do these go? Okay, like this probably. Okay, awesome. So let's keep on adding some just fun art things in, like a little dinosaur picture. Why not? Elephant, that's cute. And then on the other side here, we can have a rabbit and the ladybug. Um, I don't see why she needs this mirror specifically. Maybe like a different type of mirror would be good for her. Grab her some fun balloons. <laughs> and we'll put this here because she likes to read. She's pretty smart. Um, and then, ooh, we have some void critter stuff. Does Loon like void critters? I don't know. 
Can I make this into something more girly? Yes, like the little rainbows and the fish. I love that. Oh, I like the flower one too. But I think I like this one more. With the rainbows and the fish. I think that's adorable. Now, uh, more decorations. A little chalk cork board so that she knows what she always has to do and get done. Um, maybe we can add her in a little seat over here. A little desk or chair. That would be cute. That doesn't really fit there, does it? Okay, so we'll add this here. Or maybe not there, but like this here, put this here. Oh, that's good right there. Um, and then we'll get her a little chair. And does she need a computer? This is where her journal can go. Because I don't think that she needs a computer. She's kind of young. Like, yes, she's really smart. But I think for right now, we're just going to have her journal go there. Hopefully she doesn't feel the need to hide it from us. <laughs> Okay, guys, so Aluin's room is done. It's adorable. Right now, the room, these rooms for the adults are much more adult-like, so I'm not going to change them because they're supposed to be. I'm going to update the shower, though. So I'm going to go and I'm going to just change some appliances because we still have a lot of money. So I think that we can afford to live, you know, maybe a cooler lifestyle, like here. I don't, wanna, I don't really want to change too much of that, though. This, we can get a different sink. Like, I really like this one. I love this sink. I love this sink so much. And um, we already have some decorations there. Maybe we could get a bigger TV because we, we do have a lot of money. We're kind of balling. So maybe this one. We can see all the pixels real clear. Um, I want to get a radio. Maybe we could put that out back. Um, I want to add more plants to this entire house because as cute as this house is, it could definitely use some more plantage, more plants. Plants are my go-to everything. If you guys ever see any custom content plants, always send them to me. Because I think that plants are the best. Let's change the colors of these. Um, green. Blue. Why not? Why not? This light is freaking me out. It's the wrong color. It's just, it's just the wrong color. It looks kind of strange. Oh, that's kind of nice. I like that. Um, and this is still white. Let's make it this cream color for right now. And we can get a different type of fridge. Like this one that matches that stove. Everything here looks really nice. Uh, maybe this looks good. I don't know. Oh, wait. Oh, that looks good. Okay. So we have the nice little sitting area. I think I'm going to change this. Let's, let's update this, this eating area. Let's put these flowers away. Delete this. I want something else. Hmm. What can we afford though? Like we can afford like a nice, oh yeah, that'd be so cute. Uh, like an actual nice dining table. One that like goes out like this. You guys know I love this set. Everything in this set I think is amazing. And then we need some chairs, of course. But which ones are we going to go with? Um, vampires. Ooh, what is this? Do these just sit out like normal? Do these need to be attached to something? Those are beautiful. I mean, like, that, I don't want to use them, but they're still really nice. There, I think that'll be good. Then we can put our flowers back over here. There. Oh, wait, this chair is the completely wrong color. Don't mind it, you guys. It's fine. Um, So, guys, this looks like it's our little house makeover. What do you guys think about it? I hope that you guys like it because I think it's really cute. Grab some bowls of fruit, why not? Add those in. Because now we're moving in. This is our house. We're making it look as homey as possible. We've earned this, guys. We've earned the right to have a house this nice. And I can't wait to add in a pool or something. Oh, we can even get, guys, you know how much I love the wellness stuff. Where is it? Over here. We can get Katie a little wellness thing. We'll delete this bench because I don't see why we need the bench. Grab this, move this over this way maybe, and change the colors, because I hate these colors. Um, not really a fan of any of these, honestly. I guess this one's okay. And we have our radio out here in case people want to dance. This, all right guys, so the new home is complete. How do we all feel? Are we all like digging it? Is it all okay? Let's have a loon come over here and we'll sit and we're gonna write something in our journal. And Kyle, he's feeling stressed out. Um, you, wait, what? What did that say? It said you and I haven't always gone along. 
or something like that. <laughs> I didn't completely see what it said. So weird. Um, so a loon. Oh, yes. Okay, guys. She's writing in her journal. Is her emotional control going up? It is. This is going to be so helpful. I'm going to have her write in her journal way more often. Because look, it's not even in the red anymore. It's neutral. And it should be in the green by the time we're done with the little paragraph that we're writing, which makes me happy. So right now, let's see if Katie and Kyle want to flirt some. Oh, I heard you became friends with Glenn Styles. He's pretty cool. No, we did not. We did not become friends with Glenn Styles. Okay, so Katie and Kyle, they haven't really even done much romantic things. They haven't even woohooed yet. Oh, but they're tickling and they're getting a little bit romantic on the couch. So flirt. Um, this is their new house together, and I think it's so cute that they bought this. I do want to progress the story of them a lot and have them, you know, kind of get into everything. They barely, are they even dating? Are they even official? I know they moved in, so I think that they are. Um, boyfriend. Ooh, dating exclusivity. A relationship? Heck yeah. More choices. Romance. Let's have them blow a kiss. Um... Is there any more? Make a move. <laughs> Romance. More choices. Make out. Ooh. Oh my gosh. We can propose to him. We haven't even barely known each other. <laughs> oh my gosh. Please tell me Alun's not going to sit here on the couch while we make out. Oh no. This is awkward. She's like, um, don't mind me. Just, yep, I'm smelling pancakes. I'm really involved in this. Like, don't, don't, don't look over here alone. Just don't, okay? That's so awkward. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, oh my gosh. Okay, maybe we should stop. Maybe we should stop. Our daughter just came into the room. We're raising her together. We don't want to freak her out. Her fun is down. We're going to have her sleep soon. Um, but I kind of wanted to track, try practicing the violin first. And Glenn himself, he's hungry, so he's going to grab food. Katie, how is this going? Let's check out the new setup. Let's see if anything good is happening over here. So let's social network, update social media status, social network, uh, share jokes with followers, social network, check total followers. And I'm gonna change the slight. Um, set color and intensity, the slight, cause right now it's like red, but I want it to be, oh my gosh, why is it so dark in this room? Are there any lights in this room? Or is it just like only a lamp? Is it only a lamp? What? Oh my gosh, okay. I didn't realize that the bedroom didn't have a light in it. There we go. Now she can see what she's writing. There we go. So she's working on her relationship and stuff with her followers. Okay, how's this violin playing going? Not too good, I see. Or I hear. Because I can see, but I can also hear. And her face is cringing. But look, she's almost level one. Is this helping her emotional control? At all? I can't tell. I think it should be. Level three of the creativity is going up. I think we're really good with Elune. I think that she's going to grow up to be a very awesome young girl, in my humble opinion. But guys, that's probably a really good place to stop the episode today. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment down below what you thought your favorite part was, and hit the bell to be notified every single time I upload. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>